are it's WordPress 4.3 aka Billy and we're going to take a quick look at uh, some of the cool new features in WordPress 4.3 now the first thing I want to start with is menus in the customizer so now when you go to appearance customize you can add or edit a menu so we go over here menu for the sake of this one I'm just creating a new menu so I delete it so we're going to create a menu uh, menu location primary menu add items let's add page page you can add a custom link and you save menu and you can see it live as you're going along there's a live preview right over here of your menu and you just save and publish and it's as simple as that and now you have your menu the other cool thing is uh, the site icon feature favicon, 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 however you pronounce it you used to have to use a plugin some themes came with uh, that feature where you could upload it now it's right here in the customizer you go to site identity and I already have one in there you can remove it it's just easy you just select the file mine's already there if not you upload your file and there you have it only thing to note it has to be at least 512 by 512 so get yourself a square icon that's 512 pixels by 512 pixels or larger save and publish and you have your site icon next thing which is uh, new has to do with passwords people have been asking for uh, better passwords stronger passwords WordPress when you go to add a new user will now use a strong password but that's not all so if we just say you can show the password while you're creating it doesn't really matter what's important is this right here a password reset link will be sent to the user via email they're no longer going to get the email the, the password in the email so let's add a new user so the user gets the reset link which I've clicked on and this is what they see opens up this page with this strong password and they can either choose another one or you know use whatever's there I'm just for the sake of this going to use what it chose and click on reset password and now they can log in and that's uh, that's the difference with uh, the password system I think now is comments are now off by default for pages most people don't use comments on their pages anyway some people do on special pages but now it's off by default you don't have to do anything the only thing you have to do is if you want to use comments on a page and I'm going to show you that quickly you just go to say we're going to add a new page and we're going to call that test page and you'll notice there's nothing here this is a clean ish installation of WordPress so if you want to add a comment you might have to look up here if you haven't done it before put a check in discussion and now you can allow comments for that particular page and you'll see that uh, if you do that now you have a comment for your page but by default comments are now off for pages so your default would be no comments and you'll see that no comments okay we want this is the last and that is the keyboard formatting shortcuts uh, when you're working with your posts your pages uh, we'll go to all posts and I have that set up there 
and these are the shortcuts you have shortcuts for your lists ordered and unordered shortcuts for your headings h2 h3 and so on and a shortcut for your block quote so I'll just show you that quickly uh, say we wanted to do a list we just go and say item 1 hit enter and you're ready for item 2 now if you wanted an ordered list or numbered list you would just do number one item one and when you hit enter it's there for number two item two item three now on to the headings so you already have your h1 which would be this and now we want to put like a h2 tag your for your headings h2 h3 and so on you use the pound sign which you use for hashtags so we go one two heading two one two three heading three and you have your headings block quote you just go that's the shortcut right there and we just say blah 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 and you have a block quote so you have your unordered list ordered list your headings and your block quote so that's uh, that's the really cool feature with WordPress 4.3 and as you play along with it you'll get used to it especially these are gonna save you a lot of time you don't have to mess around with these buttons anymore you can just use your shortcuts and you're good to go uh, so that's it for the most useful features in WordPress 4.3 aka Billy